Again, rustic tiles because they're exposed to the environment, exposed to the weather, and they need to last the test of time. Hi guys, welcome to Asher and Gad channel, making Africa home again, one family at a time. On site again today to give you a, a, a brief talk on, on tiling, really, tiling. I want to cover the uh, sort of three basic type of tiles that we looked at, um, what, they, what, they, what their uses are, where, where you typically install them. I will give you guys some ideas on, on the cost of the tiles for the different places we went to. Then we'll talk about, let's say, some, um, some tips for for you during ordering so things you need to be aware of in order not to in order to save money really money saving tips and as usual we'll talk about uh, the, not, not just the cost of the tiles as i mentioned earlier but also the um the general labor rates here in ghana as it as it applies to um the cities per square meter which can vary or obviously or depending on your negotiating skills but i'll give you the top range value and the, the lower range figure as well as we go around and and see what the what, what ceiling what uh, tiles we have in the house some of you who are, are, are sort of long-standing subscribers will know this already so here we go let's just turn the camera around uh, and um have a look at the tiles while i speak okay guys here we are um this is the uh, the first floor landing area if you like um we're looking at the tiles on the floor okay let's this go around these are these are um, porcelain tiles okay now what are porcelain tiles used porcelain tiles are typically used internally okay they are heavy tiles uh, they, they have very good durability uh, and what i would say is very good water tightness as well so all these tiles are, are porcelain tiles polished porcelain this is one of the bedrooms um one good thing about porcelain is it's very durable it's heavy it's, and is strong and what you want to look out for the reason why we chose porcelain to go on the, on the, on the on the floors is because of the impermeability to water the water tightness you, you don't want to get a towel that um, you know that is that can, that water can easily penetrate it for example ceramic not really recommended to go on the floors because after many, a few years that it sort of soaks in the water you realize that after a while some of the towels are coming coming out uh, of, of the floor and you start getting having to remove tiles or have uneven surfaces so we chose to stick with porcelain on the floors all right now when it comes to let's head out back outside externally we went for the rustic tiles these are also heavy tiles okay they're heavy for the external floors very good in in very resistant to the elements if you like in rain from the outside heat okay so we're on our, our first floor porch here and these are this is a lovely pattern these are rustic tiles okay rustic very good for the external elements heavy and also have a good level of, of water impermeability as well so that's a good choice for that we'll go up to the roof in a minute so you can see the uh, the rustic tiles we had on the roof which was very well laid i must say okay let's go back into one of these go back into the bedroom talk about ceramic tiles okay so ceramic tiles brilliant tiles as well uh, not not as water resistant uh, also a bit on the light side uh, why is that well because typically you have ceramic tiles used on the wall as you can see on the video on your screen this is a we're in the master bed bedroom bathroom Okay, and all these tiles on the wall are ceramic tiles. Okay, so you tend to use them on a kitchen walls, bathroom walls, typically. All right, all this is ceramic tile, and then there you have it. On the um, the bathroom floor, we've also got porcelain yet again. Okay. Porcelain yet again on the ceramic on the porcelain yet again, sorry, on the bathroom floor. You know, you want when there's water, and especially with an area that you're gonna have a lot of water, you want the water to remain on the surface 
so you can easily drain, in this case by the center drain or the drain in the shower, so you can easily drain or you can easily see the water and wipe it away. You don't want a ceramic towel on the floor that can, let's say, gradually absorb the water and then, you know, you don't, you don't see the water and that gradually deteriorates, if you like, the, the adhesiveness of the towel to its, uh, its cement base. So that is an important factor to consider. You've also got porcelain towels here on, on the floor. Let's go into this uh, walk-in closet. Yeah, more por porcelain towels throughout the space, which is pretty good. All right, so in terms of cost, we, we did look at various places. We went to Palace Home Decor, uh, West African Hardware in Adenta. We also went to uh, Twyford Towels. We eventually opted for the Twyford Towels. In terms of cost, comparing the porcelain towels, the, the 60 by 60 porcelain towels, which, are, which is this size, okay? This size is 60 by 60. That's 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters, um, right? At, um, at Palace Home Decor and West African Hardware, they were, the prices were typically 75 CDs per square meter, 75 to 77 CDs per square meter. Uh, whereas at Twyford, they were around 58 to 60 CDs per square meter. Okay, so uh, a, significant difference, a significant difference in cost. Uh, very good quality towel. We're happy with the choice we made in that respect. So, I mean, shop around yourself and, and, and make your choice. Let's go around and see some, some other towels we have. Let's, let's go onto the roof, actually, to um, see the example we have there, which that example is uh, the rustic towel. All right, let's have a look. Let's head up, head up to the roof. I'll talk about the steps in a minute. So here we are on the roof. Okay, so on the roof here, um, boy, this area does get dusty. That's one thing, you know, when the, when the road is, the developing area and the road isn't um, tarmac. Wow, this place does really get dusty. We're gonna have to find some sort of solution to that. Um, I know my, my opposite neighbor is, is up for a collaboration to um, sort out the road in front of us. So uh, I look forward to doing something like that just to reduce the, um, the level of dust that we are currently experiencing in the building. Um, but I guess when you have a caretaker as well, you know, they're not necessarily keeping their eyes on everything. Maybe sometimes you've got to close the windows or, or just keep the place nice and clean. But um, yes, we will, uh, we will look at that in the future, very soon that is. So came up here for the towels. So uh, let's look at these towels. Very, 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 very well laid, uh, these towels. Uh, again, rustic towels, okay, very, very well laid. And again, rustic towels because they're exposed to the environment, exposed to the weather, and they need to last the test of time. So guys, what tips do I have for you regarding tiling? Um, a couple of tips um, in terms of, let's start with ordering. So when you're ordering the towels, I would suggest that for each towel type you choose, uh, try and get a um, a spare box because the towel towels can run out very quickly. Designs can can go out of stock very very quickly. Okay, we had an example of the porch towels. We got them lovely rustic towels. We bought quite a few. Uh, did an assessment and we thought yes, this is enough. Uh, after laying and realized we were we were about three boxes short. Went back and we only had two boxes available. So. And that was it so we managed to use the two boxes and then thankfully the area that was remaining was was an area that is uh if you like out of view so, so we had to use a different towel plain towel we have a flower bed going in that area so it doesn't really matter really so towel designs always go out of stock okay so unless you go for the real common types if you go for uh, you know something that's a bit different you go out of stock so always have a spare box for future means and future future reasons that is um what else let me look at my notes yes if you want to save money on tiling then uh, perhaps maybe stick to um you know two or three different towel types for the entire home you know and then that will save you money if you're if you are 
the type who is not really bothered about different tiles then maybe you can stick to the same tile throughout the, the entire internal internals of the house that would be even that would be the cheapest thing to do but for us we want we want a different feel you know in 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 the various rooms okay we had more than two or three different types of tiles which is which is our personal choice because we just want a different feel as we go into some of the, the different rooms so that was that was our choice but if you want if you're not too fussed about that and you want to maybe save a bit of cash then you know reduce your your um your variety of tiles within your home which can also be done as well where we're living at the moment has one literally one tile type throughout the entire house apart from apart from maybe the bathrooms i think yeah so it, it, it's, it's just your, your own preference decides this now here's a hot topic and i, I also heard it uh, on the radio in ghana recently you know and you you do hear it so therefore there is a lot of truth to it what do i what am i what am i talking about now i'm talking about the the actual tilers um obviously in ghana uh, the common knowledge is when it comes to tiling or pop works the guys from togo are, are really the best that's what a lot of people say you know people who are no building yes guys from togo when it comes to tiling tiling and pop they are really the best that doesn't mean everybody every single person from togo is going to do a quality job for you the guys who did our tiles are, are Ghanaians. they did a reasonably good job i'm very, very happy with them um you know but looking at i looked at some i went to another house by i think one of my friends and you know it was it was it was really packer really 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 nice um so but you know that's just a the, the news on the ground you can make up your own mind when it comes to your your choice of tyler or, or pop you know when it comes to, when i talk about a pop uh, the guy who did our first stage pop was a Togo, togolese guy he did an okay job but not a not a fantastic job so you know that statement doesn't always apply really it all depends on who you get but that's just i just wanted to inform you of if you like the uh, the culture on, on the ground in fact in the radio the other day this is national radio I heard a guy on, I think it was either a minister or somebody influential who was complaining about uh, either, the, either the lack of take up of this vocational skill in tiling or, or the lack of availability of, of, of the training. So that obviously contributes to it. He, he said on the radio that if you, took, if you took 10 tilers, you know, if you look for 10 tilers in, in, in Ghana or in Accra, 10 quality tilers, eight or nine of them would be from Togo. So this is, this is actually a fact. It, it is what it is I, and i found also in in in, in ghana uh, and again this is my own experience i'm not saying this is what it is this is just my own, an, own experience there are some of the ghanaian guys who maybe are not as serious i get maybe because i guess they're locals and you know i don't know maybe they've got a slightly different mindset maybe they feel in uh, some some sort of entitlement who knows no idea it doesn't apply to everybody i'm just saying some so i repeat some whereas uh, a lot of the foreigners i've met guys from togo nigeria and other places they, they have a greater desire a greater urge you know to, to 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 do a good job because you know they are let's say they are they are they are foreigners and they want to prove themselves because they want to survive in a, in a different country they want to excel in a different in a different country so maybe they have a a different motive there or you know a different drive let's say okay but uh that's that's that let me just turn my notes around because I've got to deal with the give you some cost figures now. So this cost is all to do with the labor cost. So thank you guys. You know, I'm ho holding the phone and <laughs> looking at my book at the same time. So this is to do with labor cost. Let's have a look. So labor cost. Now, again, this can vary. This can vary. I've seen labor cost from the minimum bare minimum of about 15 cities per square meter all the way up to 35 cities per square meter now the guy who did my roof tiles okay which is behind you okay he did a, a good job i would say if i was to rate him i would say nine and a half out nine nine at nine out of ten let's go nine out of ten um because i think he could have sloped the area behind me a bit better um so i'll give him nine out of ten he, yeah he's a good guy but again expensive 35 cities per square meter the guys who did the internal of my house uh, again they, they they did start this is all down to negotiation they did start around the 25 mark but again i managed to negotiate and negotiate them down to about i think it was 15 
cities per square meter in the end. So this boils down to your own negotiation. You've got to negotiate with them. Uh, and negotiation is about, you know, give and take, what it will, you know. You, you, you negotiate and see what return if you like if there's if there is anything in return to get the price down or however you negotiate just remember to always negotiate never accept the first price in Ghana it's a rule and boy you know here's another story uh, I asked my painter to do a job okay uh, I can't remember the, what the exact job was but when I asked him for the quote the first quote he came up with was a thousand cities a thousand cities okay then I went no 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 chance no chance, no chance. I'll give you, I'll give you 350. <laughs> and you may think 1,000 to 350. Well, I'm taking the piss. But guess what? The final settled price we settled as was about 450. So if I didn't negotiate, and I just said, oh yeah, 1,000, 1,000 cities, no problem, let's just have it. You know, if, if, if you're coming from the diaspora, you know, it, and it's not easy, it takes, it takes a while, okay? Mentally, we tend to still think in pounds or, or dollars. So, a thousand cities you may think oh yeah okay no worries it's only, it's only 125 pounds for this work and if you're thinking about how much it would cost if you were in the us or the uk then you know you, you would say oh that's, that, that's okay but this ghana is a different labor market it's a different labor market and a different cost of living okay when people move from the diaspora to ghana or any other african country if they are able to take their their, their jobs with them you know most of the time or some depending on the type of job sometimes they, they 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 will adjust your salary to suit the cost of living in the african country and that generally means a reduction so we have to bear that in mind if you're coming from the diaspora quickly come out of that mindset negotiate 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 and make sure you're paying what is the correct um let's say local rate for uh, the work you are requesting but obviously uh, it also depends on the individual depends on the individual as well just get a good price for yourself you know you, pay, you get what you pay for some some people are more expensive like the one who did my roof but he did a fantastic job and that's, that's fine so it's all open to your own personal judgment you always get what you pay for okay all right um so what was the overall cost so our overall labor cost for our house and this was this is a, a cost of tiling labor cost tiling the floors and the ceilings sorry the floors and the walls you don't tile ceilings floors and the walls was a total of 9600 ghana cities okay 9600 ghana cities pounds and dollars as usual on your screen right and this is this is across an area of 640 square meters so i managed to negotiate that down if you divide it two uh, figures you get about 15 cities per square meter for a labor rate okay now because we had issues with stone depot and those of you who are been our subscribers for a while you will know I'm, you know what i'm talking about we had issues with stone depot so therefore we um they, they, they didn't do the, that tiling for us on the staircase so we got our own tilers to do that and they charged a flat rate of a of a thousand dollars so a thousand for uh, the marble tiles that are on the staircase so all in all we paid ten thousand six hundred ghana cities for the, t the complete tiling of our house which was a very 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 good price actually considering uh, some of the other quotes that i i got for those of you who haven't seen the marble tiles let's just show you it now Mar these are the marble tiles okay go all the way down the staircase both staircases and around okay so uh, flat thousand cities for the ground to first and first to the roof okay including the um uh, what they call it including the skirting that goes around that goes on the side of it yeah thousand ghana cities which is which is an I, I thought was a pretty good price now let's show you give you an update not a detailed update but i just show you from a distance because i don't want to disturb the workers to show you the progress at the front gate and the septic tank and also the ramp which is currently being progressed okay guys there you go progress being made uh, that's the septic tank as i told you in a previous video okay the um the block work has been raised and the covers we put on after afterwards okay which is which is exactly what i wanted uh, we've also got the um the ramp being done that's in progress 
you can see that there for yourself they put iron rods in the level has been has been made we've also put in the um sort of the this the metal bar where the the, the the gate will actually slide back and forth on and you can see the guys obviously mixing the um the concrete just in front of the gate so we've made very good use of our leftover chippings which are on this side and um you've seen in various videos we made very good use of those leftover chippings because that that has proved very useful now um in terms of that metal cage what are we going to do with that i'm going to use some of that metal cage cage sorry to create a, a, a generator housing or elements part of the generator housing we'll probably use some of the metal some of the metal also to create some maybe another type of housing as well just to um make and somebody had an idea emailed me an idea about the about the waste wood so i think i'll put that into 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 place as well we don't want any wastage Going to use everything that we've uh, our hard earned sweat, if you like, our hard earned money has has procured for us, and take it from there. Okay, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Asher and Gad channel. As usual, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button so you always be aware when we upload a new video for your educational and viewing pleasure. All right. Well, chemistry on behalf of Gad and for me is guys, Yebeshia. See you next time.